Hi Scorpio, welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael, from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose and it resonates, hit that subscribe button. If you are already a continued subby, you know I love you for it. With that said, if you would like to book a personal tarot reading with me, you can do so on the website address below. And if you are not on my mailing list, which you can find the link for in the description box below, you are not get in the Monday Magic Tarot tidbit. That is a motivational message from me and the cards to set you up for the week and give you all the fire and the passion that you need to show the week who is boss. So I would like to bless all of my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So let's have a look, see what the week ahead has in store for you what is your destiny card for the week ahead and this week my dear scorpios you get the hermit right so you're having a little bit of a withdrawal this week okay retreating back taking a moment taking a beat and asking yourself what it is uh, and what i'm hearing is what's next uh, and this is what you're asking yourself, where do I go from here? This So this week, if you find yourself feeling a bit more, not necessarily reclusive, it's not reclusive, it's almost like you're taking a moment, probably from having an awesome summer, and you're taking a moment, you're like, okay, what do we do next? Where are we going from here? Because now this is kind of like the, the last stretch of the year, isn't it? But for you guys before your birthday season. So this is you asking yourself, where do I go from here? What is it that I need to do in order to close out this, this personal year in terms of going forward to your uh, solar return to close this out on a high? And the Hermit card is asking you to listen to yourself on a deeper level. Right, this is where you ask yourself the question, where do I go from here? Where am I kind of, you know, for some of you, this will be physically, like literally, where do I see myself living next? Where do I see myself moving to next? Um, which is nice, you know, it's awesome. Direction, wow, you got the hermit again, right? So if, uh, I'm gonna be honest with you, because the hermit card does carry this energy, it may be that this week feels a little bit lonely, right? The saying goes, heavy is the head that wears the crown. Now, there aren't any kings or queens here as yet, but the hermit is the wise one, right? They live on the outskirts of town. These, The hermit is the shaman. They were the person who lived on the outskirts of town. They are the, are the wise one who traveled the countryside or traveled the land. They don't necessarily, they have very nomadic as well. They don't necessarily have a base. You could find yourself feeling very outside or very separate this week. You could find yourself saying, right, okay, you know what? I'm not entirely sure where I am now. Settles with me anymore. I'm not entirely sure. And that could be in, it doesn't have to be in terms of your home. It could be in terms of your work. It could be in terms of your job. It could even be in terms of a relationship, right? It will, whatever it is, will be personal to you. But as a direction card, the Hermit is basically saying to you, now is the time for you to start making the edits, right? Whatever they look like to you, whatever it is. And, you know, the, the saying goes, edit your life ruthlessly. I do this all the time. And now is that time for you. You've got a double hit of this hermit energy. So you're searching for what is next. You're searching for what it is that you truly need to know. And you're making those clear distinctions this week of who actually is gonna help facilitate that. And more importantly, I kind of feel like for you guys at this, at this week is this moment of this week. It doesn't feel like there's gonna be anybody that's equipped to give you what you need. That doesn't mean that you don't reach out. It just means that you listen to your own counsel above all else. So your insight card for the week ahead, what's going on behind the scenes? You've got the six of swords. For some of you, this is, this week you will make that decision as to where it is, well, not even necessarily as to where it is that you go next, but you'll be making the decision and saying, yeah, I'm ready to move on from where I'm at. Uh, and this is great because the Six of Swords sees you moving from troubled waters to calm ones. 
which really for me, especially with the Hermit cards, you know, the double Hermit energy there, and which is really interesting because we're stepping into Virgo season and the Hermit represents the sign of Virgo. So you are, you know, tapped in as usual. You've got your finger on the pulse, but with the Six of Swords as what's coming in through your Insight card, it's basically saying to you, you are ready to transcend the current experience. Now, that's going to rely on you being able to leave behind whatever or whoever that might be. So as you step forward, especially with the Six of Swords, is to ask yourself, what do the next six months look like for me? Where is it that I go from here? Where is it that I start to um, expand and more importantly, take responsibility for what it is that I truly want in my life now and ultimately how I get there? Now, What's really, really interesting, if you want to play around with it a little bit, you've got the Hermit card there twice, which is the number nine. Then you have the number six of swords. Flip it upside down and look what you've got. So you've got this triple hitter energy of completions, but you've also got this really heartfelt energy of taking responsibility for yourself. And this isn't about telling you what you should do or anything like that. It's about telling you that at the moment, self-nurturing, self-nourishment, self-direction um, and actualization, these are all things that you should be focusing on. Anyone or anything that takes you away from that is a distraction right? This next six months is going to be a really interesting time for you and it might see you outside, it might even see you on the fringe, but by going to those places, either within yourself or in, you know, in the wider world stage, you will find what you're looking for. And the thing about the Hermit card, the Hermit is what you need to do to hear the voice of the High Priestess. And she is all things psychic, all things other world. She's the ability to see the future, the ability to feel words on the wind. She's all of that, right? So exercise your power of your hermit this week. Still yourself, pull yourself away, withdraw a little bit so that you can recalibrate and get back to yourself. And the chances are you will find all of the answers that you seek. I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic week. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up. Take care and I'll see you soon.